Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to scrape a specific value from a table using Parsub. To begin, open the Parsub client, click on New Project, and enter the URL of the website that you would like to scrape. For this example, I've chosen a book listing from Amazon and copied its URL. Click on Start Project on this URL. Once the page loads, you'll see three areas within the Parsub client. The left side contains the project structure and settings. The middle contains an interactive view of the website. And the bottom section allows you to preview your data in either CSV or JSON formats. Sometimes, you'll only be interested in a few values found in a table. For this example, we are interested in the publisher and language information found in this table about a third of the way down the page. If we were scraping multiple book listings, these values may be located in different cells within this table. So, we need a way to scrape these values based on their labels. An empty selection command should already be placed in your command structure for you. If this is not the case, click on the plus sign next to Select Page and choose a Select command. Using this command, click on the title of the first label in the table. You will see that Parsub is selecting the label in green and highlighting similar elements in yellow. To select the rest of the labels, click on one of the labels highlighted in yellow. You can also rename this command by double clicking on it and I will rename it label in this example. We are not interested in extracting this data. We will only be using the labels to identify their values. To prevent Parsub from extracting this data, we can click on the list icon under Select Label and delete the Begin New Entry command that expands out by clicking on the X button next to it. This will also delete the Extract command nested under it. Now, we want to set conditions that say if a label says either Publisher or Language, extract the data to the right of the label. First, we are going to set up our conditional commands. Click on the plus sign next to Select Label, click Advanced, and choose a conditional command. Under the if statement, we are going to type $e.text.contains open parentheses quotation mark publisher close quotation mark close parentheses. This checks whether or not the labels contain this text string publisher. Note that this script is case sensitive, so be sure that you are using the same capitalization found on the listing page. Hold the shift key while hovering over the select label command and the plus sign will appear beside it. Use this plus button to add another conditional command. We will use this command for the language label using the same sort of script. Now we want to tell Parsehub to extract the values from the table if these conditions are true. To do this, click on the plus sign next to one of your conditional commands and choose a relative select command. All of the labels will now be highlighted in orange. Click on one of these highlights and this will give us an arrow that we can use to relate each label to their value. If you hover over the value and notice that it is selecting the entire row in your table, we can zoom in on the selection to just get the value. Hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on PC and hit the 2 key to zoom in. Keep hitting 2 until the text node in our value is highlighted and then click on the value while keeping Command or Control held down. I will rename this Relative Select Publisher and set up another Relative Select command for our other condition.
You can now see in our data preview that the values that we are interested in are being extracted. To test run this project and make sure that it is working properly, we can click on Get Data at the bottom of the page and click on Test Run. Test Run lets you run your project locally on your own computer to help you understand how it's behaving. The Step In button will run through your project one step at a time. The Play button will slowly run through your project, allowing you to see what the project is doing. The Fast Forward button allows you to quickly play through your project and see the extracted data. While playing or fast forwarding, you can also pause your test run. If you hit the stop button, the test run will close and you will be returned to the project page. To retrieve your data, click on the Get Data button and then on Run. Your project will begin running on our servers and you can check the status of your run in the box here. When the project has finished running, you can download your results in either CSV or JSON formats. We also have an API that you can use to integrate your data with other applications. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to extract specific values from a table. If you have any questions about your particular project, you can contact us at hello at parsehub.com. We're always happy to help.